Thunderbolt comes with Bluetooth, which allows you to connect to wireless headsets and other media devices. To connect your Bluetooth, open the app launcher and select settings. This will take you to the full settings menu. From here, tap on wireless and networks and you'll find Bluetooth listed about halfway down. You can also access the settings menu right from the home screen. Tap on the menu soft key and select settings. Again, open wireless and networks and you'll find Bluetooth listed below. Before you can connect any Bluetooth devices, you'll need to enable Bluetooth on your device. Make sure the box next to Bluetooth is showing the green check mark. This means Bluetooth is on. Tapping on Bluetooth settings will take you to this screen and here you're able to scan for devices in range. Available Bluetooth devices will be listed below. To connect, tap on the device's name and the Thunderbolt will automatically pair and connect. You may be prompted to enter a passcode for the device. This is usually four zeros, but you can check the Bluetooth device's user manual for the proper code. To disconnect from a Bluetooth device, tap on its name again, and this confirmation screen will appear. Tap OK to disconnect. You can enable or disable your Bluetooth from this screen as well. If you aren't connected to any devices, turning Bluetooth off can help save your battery. When you turn your Bluetooth on, the phone will automatically search for any available devices and will connect with any that you're paired with. A long press on the Bluetooth device's name will bring up this menu. Here, you can choose to disconnect, disconnect and unpair, or view other options. Selecting options will take you to this menu. Here, you can choose if you want the device to automatically connect, and if you want it to play phone audio as well as media audio. Here, I'll disconnect and unpair. At the top of this screen, you can customize your device name, choose whether it can be discovered by other Bluetooth devices, and manage advanced settings for Bluetooth. The Thunderbolt comes with Wi-Fi capability, which allows you to connect to wireless networks and hotspots. You can access the Wi-Fi settings in the Settings menu. Select Wireless and Networks, and you'll see Wi-Fi toward the top of the page. Make sure Wi-Fi is enabled, and you can tap on Wi-Fi settings to join a network. Checking this option, the device will notify you when you are in range of an open network. Below, you can see wireless networks in range and whether they are secured or not. You can also tap on Add Wi-Fi Network to manually connect with a network. This is most useful for networks that don't broadcast their SSID. To connect to a wireless network, tap on its name. If you're connecting to a secured network with a key, this can be obtained from your internet service provider or network administrator. Once you've entered the key, hit connect, and as long as it's correct, the device will automatically connect to the network. You'll see your connection status reflected on the Wi-Fi enable disable option. When you aren't using the Wi-Fi connection, you should disable it as this can save your battery life. When Wi-Fi is turned on again, it will automatically connect to any available networks that has been connected to before, as long as the network key has remained the same. Tapping on a network that you are connected to will bring up this screen 
which will show you information about the connection, as well as give you the option to forget the network. Now, when you turn Wi-Fi back on, it does not automatically connect to that network. In addition to being able to connect to hotspots, the Thunderbolt can create its own hotspot. To turn your device into a mobile hotspot, open the Settings menu and select Wireless and Networks. Here, you can find the option to Enable or Disable Mobile Hotspot. When you first enable Mobile Hotspot, this warning will pop up. This lets you know that while Mobile Hotspot is active, your phone will still continue to work as normal and running applications can access the internet and it also lets you know that Mobile Hotspot may utilize more battery than usual use and it's a good idea to connect it to a power source. Tap OK to acknowledge and Mobile Hotspot will be activated. Opening the hotspot settings, the same warning is displayed. Tapping OK here will take you to the hotspot setting page. Here, you're able to specify an SSID, choose what type of security you want enabled, and create an access key for the security you choose. Here, I'll demonstrate the mobile hotspot using this HTC Incredible. Right now, the phone is not able to connect to the internet, and you can see that when I try to access Google, the web page is not available. After I enable the Wi-Fi, I'll choose to join the mobile hotspot. Make sure you enter the same key that you have selected for your network. When a user connects to your hotspot, you'll receive a notification in the notification bar and you'll also see the number of users reflected on the Manage Users section. In the Manage Users section, you can select if only allowed users have access to your hotspot, and you can choose the maximum number of users that can connect to the phone simultaneously. Now when I access the internet on the Incredible and refresh the current page, Google comes right up. And as you can see here, there is no wired connection between the two devices. Once I disconnect from the Incredible, the Incredible's username disappears from the connected users list. Tapping Done will return you to the Hotspot Settings menu and to disable, tap on the checkbox at the top. <laughs>